I am unsure if other people have had this issue, but up until when I rebranded my channel a few months ago and actually started trying with this channel, I was very unhappy with my VHC character. I just couldn't find anything that I liked or thought worked well together. Vampire Hunter C is quite a large catalogue of items and finding the right ones can take a while. So this video is for everybody who is as puzzled as I was when trying to make a good avatar. Before I do get into this video though, I'd just like to thank everybody for getting me to 250 subscribers. It's a small milestone, sure, but just the fact that 250 people enjoy my videos that I make is something that makes me happy. Anyways, let's get going. What are some of your favourite clothes or accessories or items in the shop? Is it this explorer hat? Or this TV? Or this samurai helmet? Or this red sweater? Just find some key items that you like, and don't worry about what you're going to do with them yet. Just think of like what are your favourite key items that you would really like to implement into some sort of outfit. Alright, now think about the style that you're aiming for. Is this going to be a funny thing, or is it going to be formal, or is it like normal everyday clothes, or is it like preppy, or whatever. You can take inspiration from anywhere, and even go onto Google if you're really that stuck. After this you want to start implementing colours into it, like thinking like is it going to be maybe a light pink and white, maybe some sort of like secure tree um, thing, or is it sort of green and blue, or is it like light blue and yellow with like the duckies. Just think of things like that, what colours really work together well. Finally, if you can afford it, you should probably get a vampire skin to go with it, nobody wants to be a default vampire. Well, I keep getting this question from many of my viewers and many people that I meet in game and people that I just talk to. Why do I pick this avatar? Why am I a boring default with some random accessories on? As I said, I started off with my favourite accessory as I usually did with my avatars, the bike goggles. I used to use the steampunk cat all the time, not only in Vampire Hunter 3 but on like just normal Roblox, I like the steampunk sort of outfits a lot. I didn't really have anything in VH3 that I felt worked that well with it. And I was always stuck between different outfits, always experimenting with different things, none of them really being permanent for longer than a month. But then come the holy V47 update and I have an idea. Now I've seen a couple of people before do spin-off default avatars where they change one or two things about the default avatar, they do something funny or whatever. and. I use this idea in this outfit, I admit, but it's not just any old default. This default would be me. I mean, he looks just like me. The hair, the eyebrows, the big smile, the lazy clothing choice of ripped jeans, a white t-shirt and a belt. It's like I'm really in the game. I mean, come on. Chuck on the goggles and some yellow eyes so that I can keep my look and still be known as yellow thing. And we're set. Oh, and a... Uh, add shoes to. That's, I don't want to be a shoeless default. So what should you take away from this video? Well, just know that nothing that I said matters. <laughs> well, this is my journey to creating the famous yellow thing avatar. I'm sure it differs to everybody else's. Well, yes, you can use the strategies that I used to making my avatars, both this one that my current avatars or all of the previous ones where I just came up with the list of accessory, theming, whatever. But that's all the criteria that I use for what I thought was a good avatar, not for what you would think is a good avatar. And all that really matters is what you're happy with. Thanks for watching.